Hey guys, Cruz the Gex back with more Heaven's Ward. Uh, I'm still joined by Lady Darkfire. And we just finished up pat the storyline to patch 3.1, As Goes Light, So Goes Darkness. The sun is rising on Ishgard today. It is almost 6 o'clock. So the music should be changing any minute, but we won't give a shit about that. Um, but anyways, we are going to be doing a new, um, story, we're going to be doing a new storyline, um, and hopefully getting through it today, um, but let's get right down to it. Ah, you have the look of a lad who's seen his fair share of trouble. Have you be willing to help me with mine? I need a capable sword to head into the Sea of Clouds and track down my missing airship. I had to mortgage my soul to get that vessel built, so winning the contract to ferry supplies out, of, out to Cloudtop was a real weight off my mind. But it seems my luck ended there. My ship was due back in Ishgard bells ago, and I've been praying for a glimpse of her sails ever since. I can't help fearing the worst. What if she's run afoul of Sky Pirates? My creditors will have their pawns of flesh. You think me foolish to fear piracy so far above the waves? Well, let me tell you that no honest merchant is safe now that airship production has, if you'll excuse the pun, taken off. Any scoundrel with a sack of coin and a vague sense of direction can terrorize the skies. Oh yes, this noon breed of buccaneers like to paint themselves as dashing explorers braving the unknown, but the truth of their nature is right there in the name. Sky Pirates. Given have the chance, they'll strip your ship of every last scrap of cargo and cry yaha as they as they launch you screaming over the rails i've heard the stories please you must make haste to camp cloud top that's where the shipment was bound and inquire as to the fate of my poor ship oh and my poor helmsman ask ron tremont he'll know if any man does all right we're off to camp cloud top for a spat of adventure. <laughs> All right, where is this fucker? Rontremont, there he is. Yep. A supply airship has gone missing, you say? Well, that would certainly explain why our provisions are so late in arriving. I did, in fact, spy a vessel charting an erratic course northwards a short while ago, but it, but as it seemed disinclined to make port here, I paid it little mind. Not the most compelling piece of evidence, I grant you, but I have witnessed naught else of interest. I suggest you investigate the landmass to the north. Rest assured, I will send word if I spy another sign of our errant supply ship. Alright, let's fly. I haven't used my mana cutter in a while, so I feel like it needs a little bit of... Yep, to the north. Great, it's foggy. Say, these villains mean to plunder my cargo. What have we got here then? Think it's some sort of hero, do you? Well, then, you won't mind if me mates here join the fun. Make for a mon heroical tale, won't it? The tale of how three sky pirates fed the meddling little shite his own bloody eyes. They're yellow jackets. 
No, they're not. What the? Oh, gods, I know that ship. It's... Nope. So you're the Scrags would have been dragging our good name through the mud. You're... You're Red Bill Leofard! We ain't done naught to you or yours! What do you want with us? I think I made me position very pretty clear. You take on the mantle of Sky Pirates. You agree to a certain code of conduct. And codes ain't worth much if folk go around breaking them. Frankly, lads, you're making us look bad. Are these the Sky Rogues? And we can't have that. No hard feelings, though, eh? Oh, thank you, Mr. Leofard. Thank you. I'm certain my master will wish to repay you. If your employer does business in Ishgard, he likely knows a merchant or two who trades with me at associates. Tell him to say it's for Leofard, and any reward should reach me soon enough. As for you, adventurer, taint often someone beats me to the scene. But then I'd expect not less from a hero such as yourself, Bayan. That is who you are, ain't it? I don't know too many other folk with one of the marvelous mana cutters the Ironworks dreamed up. Well then, seems you've saved me the trouble of tracking you down. I'd been hoping to have a word with you, you see. <laughs> I'll put it to you straight. I need someone to help out with a little venture I have in mind. Someone used to taking a few risks. Now this wouldn't be no black-hearted brigands work, so don't go worrying yourself on that account. Unlike them thieving curs just now, I don't hold with robbing honest folk. For me, you see, the Sky Pirate's life is all about freedom. The freedom to go where you will, to find out what lies beyond the next cloud. If you're interested in joining us on an adventure worthy of the name, then look for me standard in the northern reaches of the Blue Window. Someone will be waiting there to greet you. Okay. All right, back on the mana cutter. He recognized you from the uh, I guess. Well, it's either that or the stories he's heard. Oh, now the skies are clearing up. Eight o'clock, right on the dot. Should be right around here. That's far enough, stranger. If you value your life, tell me true. Did you stumble across this marker by chance, or are you here by invitation? I'm here by invitation. Then that would make you the hero the captain said to watch out for. Well met. Name's Stacia. Leofard would call me his right-hand woman, but I feel more like his bloody nursemaid, God's truth be told. Anyway. 
My thanks to you for coming to Hannah Mount. If you'd follow me, I'll take you to the Red Bill's Nest. Okay. Yep. It's like being in bloody Neverland. <laughs> Except with less ship. Well, with less sea ships and more airships. Boys and girls. Yep. Instead of just wolf boys. And, and there's no Peter Pan. Come to you in person, and you still refuse my offer? Arrogant fool. On the subject of arrogance, Radil Radlia, I bow to your superior knowledge. But that's all the borrowing you'll get from me. As I've told you a dozen times before, I ain't no one's lackey. But my dear Leofard. How else do you propose to survive an expedition into the ghost ship? I would fear for my life with naught but your feeble crewmates at my back. Well, I'd fear for me in life with your mangy crew at my back, on account of them being murderous, untrustworthy bastards to a man. I thought you cleverer than this, Red Bill. But no matter. I always get what I want in the end. Tis merely a question of method. Now there's a phase I've not seen before. Hmm. You don't have the look of one of Leofard's little birds. He's a guest. You understand the concept, don't you? You know, when someone is invited instead of just bursting through the door whenever she damn well pleases. Hmm. That was Radlia, captain of the Talons. She knows of Leofard's the she knows Leofard's the best sky pirate alive, and the fact that he won't join her sticks in a craw. Are you gonna let him talk to you like that, Captain? We should teach them Red Bill some respect. Patience. When all of this is over, we'll see who rules the skies. Ho oh, there, hero. I promise you high adventure, and high adventure you shall have, for we plan to board the Sea of Clouds' very own ghost ship. Oh, what folk have taken to call in one, anyway? Every day for the past few weeks has brought with it a new sighting of the self-same vessel, a massive airship of queer design, adrift on the wind. Being a curious lot, there were a few buccaneers who tried exploring below decks, but not one of them's been seen since. And so naturally they're saying the ship is cursed. Well, haunted. Like I said, an honest to God's ghost ship. My guess is she's another relic left behind by the Alagans. But we won't know for sure till we've had ourselves a good poke around inside. And liberated whatever ancient treasure she's got moldering away in her hold, of course. But before we start dividing up the spoils, we've got to find the damn thing. Which is why we've been working on a special new device. Bah! Finding that'll be the easy part. What we can't do without 
Oh, it is a veteran explorer what ain't afraid to fling himself face first into the jaws of danger. Now, I know you're a gallant champion of the people and all, but strip away the fame and glory, and I'll wager you're still an adventurer at heart. So what do you say, what say you, Bion? Fancy a plunge into the unknown at the sight of the Red Bills? Hell, I'll do it. Me too. Then it's settled. Let's pay a visit to our crewmate, Ultata. She's been working on her way back in a tractor vessel. Ultata? You know, I've heard some weird names in this game. I just kind of run with it at this point. <laughs> Fair enough. Where's my keyboard? So where's Utata? Oh, we're already teleported to her. Greetings! My name's Utata. I suppose you'd call me the Red Bill's chief of engineering. Smith and carpentry magitech. If it's part of an airship, I can fix it. Just don't expect to see me waving a cutlass and swinging over the rails. If there's fighting to be done, well, that's what I have you for. Well met, ladies and gentlemen. Well met, ladies and gentle pirates. Now that we appear to have our hero, I'm happy to report we've overcome the last obstacle boarding the ghost ship. Meaning your project is proceeding as planned. That it is, Captain. I knew this would be the perfect place to take readings, and sca the scant amounts of background ether make it easy to follow the derelict's trail. The ghost ship with the ghost ship has what Utata tells us has, is a unique etheric signature. She's been building a device what can sniff out this particular spectral flavor and point us in the right direction. I call it the Ecto Compass. It's allowed me either collect some solid data on the vessel's movements and plot a reasonable and plot a reliable intercept course. No groping blindly through the crowds for us. All the ships are loaded and ready to fly. Just say the word, Captain. Utata, you'd best stay here out of harm's way. Keep an eye on them aether trails, eh? Aye, Captain. Grab an armload of treasure for me. Now, we've got no way of knowing what's waiting for us on that cursed hulk, Bion. So you'd best bring along a few mates where you know you can trust. Don't hurt to be too careful, seeing as how you'll be going in first and all. And I did tell you you'd be going in first, didn't I? <laughs> I... well, you will. <laughs> the rest of us will be gone in the rear just in case Rodley, Rodley and Rabrood decide to stick their beaks in where they ain't wanted. Don't worry, she'll not get past us. So you can concentrate on carving a path into the ship's belly. So and honest to God. Yep. And honest to God's ghost ship. <laughs> this is gonna be an adventure and a half. The Void Arc, now accessible. Let's do it. I wonder how long it'll take us. Well, yeah. I mean, this is a. Please, I give that a one top. Be nice. take a while which 
much. I do not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I may have spoken too soon. Come on, come on. One more healer, 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 one more healer. Major starts. Um, we gotta get his healing skills up. Yep. And then we'll have the healer we need. I, can... I need one too a lot of the time. Yeah. Usually waiting on that and a second DPS. Well, I can help you with healing as well, as long as I'm on my computer doing it. One more healer, 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 one more healer. Is that your, uh, chant? No. Usually my, I chant it, START THE GAME ALREADY! No, my battle cry is, let's turn this into an orgy of blood. But seriously, I would appreciate it if this healer would fuck it. There we go. Or not. There we go. Come on. Form the party. Reserve the instance. There we go. I swear to God, if someone le withdraws, I'm going to kick some asses. I am going to kill. Woot. Happy, happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 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 Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. I don't think you're happy enough. That's right. I'll teach you to be happy. I'll teach your grandmother to suck eggs. God damn it, butters! This is what I hate about this Time one. Time. Time for you to get a watch. 12.06. What? I got a watch on my laptop you're using. <laughs> beep beep! I just patted you on the head. What the hell was that for? I'm being nice and you're hitting me. I'm just patting you on the head. Oh, finally. Let's get this dungeon going. Time to distract him. Let a dungeon party start. Nah, I'm good. I think I love my hair band somewhere around here. That is? Oh. Oh. I thought I had a couple. Alright. Let's do this. I can't even see That's myself. You haven't said they or is it? Oh shit, I ha don't have my alliance. This is gonna suck. I'm in alliance C. Oh shit, is that a full party? Yep, there's a full three alliance raid. I cannot see for shit. A lag in tombstones of esoterics. I cannot see shit. I need some 
You know, they're gonna go ahead of me, but I don't care. I need to move my alliance hot bars. I mean... So that at least I can see. They're just showing me what, uh, yeah, uh, the other alliances and... So if someone dies, I'll know about it. That's because they're an astrologist. They're an astrologist. They use cards to heal. One of our, one of our DPS crashed. I didn't do it. I did. I'll take blame. I don't care. Whatever. That's a big fish. Satus. Like it's called. Yes, you did. Oh, shut it, cat. <laughs> it's always up in here, busting my ball. I haven't chugged down the whole can, that's why. I take a sip, I take a belch, and call it a day. I'm always gassy, so it's like... Oh, our dragoon's back. <laughs> and he's sitting right outside the raid, frickin'. It happened to me with the, with most of the, uh, with most of the, uh, um, Crystal Tower Saga. The only one I didn't get sealed out of is World of Darkness. With the final boss, at least. practically ignore most most of this it's in, it's simple to target just keep hold, hold of r2 and just hit l1 or l2 and you'll be targeted with an enemy if you hit up or down though when not attached to r2 or L2, I mean, yeah, R2 or L2, you'll freaking, you'll just end up, uh, no, you'll target your allies. No. I do, I sure hope I get something out of this. Now you get it. Bo 
Body slam! of scouting breed. Void our gloves of casting breed. No, they're only two. Yeah. You can only access the one that's assigned to your alliance. be worried Want no rating on that one? I do not remember how this dungeon goes because it T E R I Y A K I. You really didn't know that? Check is everyone's friend these days. I usually can identify when I've spelled something wrong, though. It's just for some reason, um, I don't know exactly where to tweak it most of the time. I have to look it up. But it's. Or my phone makes spell misspells, and those are not my fault. <sighs> Thank you. 
friend of mine, uh, his uh, wife just made a bunch of jerky. That was my comment. Huh. Show get a big guy. What? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Beautiful. It is highly fortunate that you people cannot see what is going on on her phone. <laughs> and why she is nerdgasming right now. So nerdgasming. Like, if nerdgasms were her orgasm, she'd be soaking her panties right now. Oh, here. There. No, it's that you pointed at the wrong camera. But besides which, they can barely see it anyway. Uh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, whoops. I just got freaking devoured again. Let's try not to do that again. I'm just circling around this thing now. That is one ugly son of a bitch. Someone. Who? Master M. I think he has leather working added to his repertoire. But I'll have to ask him next chance I get when I'm on my own Facebook. Send me the I link to. Cherry. What? What's Diablo's doing here? Yeah. Oh, he's so pretty. I actually debated 
Arise and taste vengeance, my ravenous kindred. Just send me the link. Great. How's that work? You just pay shipping and handling. Facebook it that way I can send it to M and Via. Why did you just start singing Bill Nye the Science Guy? Oh. Thank you. Wee. Again, another person. More porn references. Oh, look at this ugly son of a bitch. Oh, the elect delectable aroma of terror. Long has it been since I last feasted. Worried about the bleeding part of this. There we go. I seriously do not remember what I'm supposed to be doing in this fucking dungeon, so it's like, eh. Resisting delirium? It has no effect on them? Jesus Christ. 
Christ! That's not fair! Oh, I totally forgot about that. Pina, heal! <laughs> Thanks, Pina! <laughs> No, they won't. Foo bar. Heh. <laughs> Oh, so close. So close he was. Yes, so far. Oh, yuck. He just puked on us. I just got a concussion from that. No, you're not. Code of striking, belt of aiming. Here we go. Oh, now that's ugly. And mapping the realm has been.
Seriously, still don't remember any of this fight. I'm probably the weakest one in this dungeon right now. 60. Because I have the lowest gear. Everyone else probably has like insane gear right now. Yeah, just wait till you have to do it. What if my subscription's out? We'll fix it. And you're too addicted for you to let that happen. Fair enough. Love taking random pictures of me. Uh -huh. It's not a bad picture. Eh. And yes, that's Sherry down at the bottom. She and I are ch uh, chatting about our new children's drama series. Yeah. Uh, what's that? It's that. But that's what we're calling it. Macbeth? Achievement unlocked, touching the void. And it's down. Void arc complete. And no fucking gear to show for it.
You, you, you literally freaking put out two Void Arc Gloves of aiming. That's bullshit. That is bullshit right there. Fuck this shit. I'm glad I never have to do it again. Not bad. It's a little too towery for me, but. Bugger me! I expected know. danger, but not a hell spawn bleeding nightmare made flesh like that. Didn't stop you and your mates, though, did it? That's some clue you've got there, and no mistake. And we got some loot. Alright then. Let's have a look inside that dirty great coffer type thing. Someone tells me it's filled to the brim with booty. Don't look at me! I never moved a muscle! Diabolos. What in the seven hells is that bastard doing? What the hell? This way! Swiftly now! Can anyone else see that talking cat over there? Bloody hell's his adventure's getting clearer by clearer by the minute. Oh dear. Still, I'd rather take me chances with a prat and puss than stay here. Get your things, mateys. We're leaving. You don't need to tell me twice. But what about the loot? You can't spend it when you're dead! We either follow the, we either follow the fur ball or make friends with a spell slinging void born. Your choice! God damn it! How's an honest sky pirate meant to make a living? Oh, dip. She's checking her friends list. Uh. Well, look at that thing. Take a look at that. Ooh. That's def That's definitely not a lagging technology, that's for sure. Wait, you hadn't even gotten on the ship yet? We were on the ship, we just left. The ship's breaking up! Is he trying to bring it down? Whoa! 
Whoa, that was a little too close for comfort. The board sent is attempting to initiate a dimensional displacement. But the gate, it cannot possibly be large enough for the entire ship. from freaking inside. Yep. <gasps> the Queen's coffin! He takes it beyond our reach! Uh, go in places, I grant you, but here we all are, and all with our bits still attached. This calls for a foaming flagon of... Hold on, ain't we missing someone? Didn't I tell Utata to wait for us here? Never fear, we've been keeping the girl company. But enough about her. Did you see the cannon on that ship? As you know, my dear Leofard, I am not easily moved, but the sheer power on display set me all a quiver. Well, I hope you are content to admire it from afar. That vessel ain't for the likes of you and me. Do not presume to measure me by your own limitations. Besides, I believe I've shown how resourceful I can be. Which brings me neatly to the point. You have in posse your possession a device capable of tracking the ghost ship. Hand it over your or your engineers shall suffer the consequences. Perfect. A compass pointing the way to my just reward. A weapon like that belongs in the hands of one with the will to use it. Come, lads. Our business here is concluded. I'm sorry, Captain. They caught me off guard. You got that bang on your head or, on the head or summit? The man I know would never give in to scum like her without a fight. Unless... <laughs> what did you do to the compass? Who, me? Not. Besides slipping a link pearl into its case and like... <laughs> so long as Radlia, Radlia keeps it close. And you can be damn sure she will. We'll know exactly what them demon bastards are planning. Anyone care to wager how long it'll take her to... Notice me little gift? <laughs> That's very clever and all. But how are you proposing to stop her from getting her hands on the... Dare... 
Hector and his great big cannon! I ain't worked out that part yet. But I expect it's... But I expect it'll start keeping us a close eye on the talents. Before we get into any of that, though. I've got some questions what need answering. You wish to know more of the Void Ark? The ghost ship, as you call it. The Void Ark. So that's its proper name. Aye, I'd like to hear whatever you'd care to tell us, puss. And I, for my part, am curious to hear your stories. Ere we continue, however, I must insist that you address me by my proper name. Kate Sith. I will not respond to puss or cat, and most decidedly not furball. She's beautiful. And once again, nerdgasming. I think I know my next gamer tattoo. Yup. Yup. I knew I was going to get something from Final Fantasy. My tale begins long, long ago in the city of Mak, which once stood in the lands of Yafaim. The sorcerers of Mak were masters of destructive magics, and they brought that terrible power to bear against Amdapur and Nim in the War of the Magi. Give me a There we go. The sorcerers of Mach were masters of destructive magics. And yeah, I already said that. The titanic forces they unleashed, however, took a heavy toll upon the land, ultimately resulting in a colossal flood that drowned the realm of Eorzea, a catastrophe which my master, High Void Mage Cesare, was wise enough to foresee. Wait, wait, wait! Colossal Flood? Are you talking about the Sixth Umbra Calamity? Hmm. I suppose you would know it as such. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. When they learned of the fate that awaited them, the Makai Magi began construction of a gargantuan vessel that would bear their people to the skies and to safety. The operation of the Void Ark, as the ship came to be called, was entrusted to Cesare. Prior to that, of course, my master had been a prisoner in her own home, confined for her outspoken opposition to the war. So, so the Ark was meant as a sanctuary. Then how did it come to be so, uh, um... I mean, what happened to all the people? And where did all the void scent come from? By what power do you imagine such a massive craft remains aloft? The energy required to raise the Ark was siphoned from over a thousand otherworldly servants sealed within the vessel. Advances in Makai sorcery were made for one reason and one reason only. Cataclysmic destructive power. And the swiftest and most dangerous method of acquiring that power was through the enslavement of void sent entities. So the creatures on the derelict, they broke free from your master's control. At the very heart of the Ark, the Void Mages had entombed a great ruler of the Void Scent, Skathath, the Shadow Queen. But in order to control so potent a prisoner, a mage of adamant will was required, and being Mark's preeminent sorcerer, Cesare was deemed best qualified. Were it otherwise, my master might never have been released from her own imprisonment. Yet even with Cesare's peerless skill, the Shadow Queen could not long be subjugated. One after another, the lesser void sent awoke and ran rampant within the ship. In the end, Cesare and the 53 void mages above the, uh, aboard the Ark sacrificed their own life energies to return the fiends to their coffins leaving me, a lowly familiar, to watch over a derelict prison. If I remember me Umbro Eris right, the stuff you just subscribed happened in more than 1500 years past, which is a good while by anyone's measure. 
since everything seems to have been quiet on board your boat until such just recently. I'm thinking somewhat unusual must have happened to wake the inmates up. Am I warm? One day, a void scent that had taken the shape of a bat flew into the ship. At first, it was little more than a nuisance that I brushed away. But the longer it remained on the ark, the stronger it seemed to become. Eventually, I could not contend within it with its power, and it began shattering seal after seal. You have faced this back-winged fiend before. It would seem, then, that the creature survived the encounter, and that he intends to celebrate his restoration by liberating his queen. Well, that explains that, then. Except for one small detail, namely, where the queen's coffin went. After it fell out of the ship's belly, I'm assuming it didn't just disappear, right? You you recall the great rift the, that the ox cannon ripped in the sky? That was a void gate. Such a portal opens a temporary path through the void, allowing the ship to travel almost instantaneously from one location to another. The void scent, as you saw, only opened a gate large enough to displace the coffin. As for the coffin's destination, however, that is as much a mystery to me as it is to you. I beseech you, conquerors of the Ark, Help me find the Queen's coffin ere the wards binding Skathath are dispelled. <laughs> Smells to me like an adventure. Who knows what ancient Makai treasures we might stumble on along the way. Gods know they'll make a nice change from all them lagging tombstones we've been collecting. I will help you. I'm not risking me hide for the sake of the realm, you understand. But I'll be damned if I let either Radlia or that bat-winged bastard take the freedom of the skies from me. You? You care only for how you might be inconvenienced. If the Shadow Queen were to return, it would have dire consequences for this entire star. Don't count your bless- count your blessings, Furball. I said we'd help, didn't I? Before we go rushing off in search of that coffin, though, there's preparations to be made. You might as well get back to your, your usual heroical employment, Bayan. I'll let you know when it's time to round up your mates again. Mm. And with that, we end this part of the void. Oh, wait. Meanwhile, with the talons. Hmm. The time is nigh, my dear talons. Soon we shall seize control of the ghost ship and all its power and rule the skies from here to the ends of the world. Yeah! At least they put freaking voices on the minions <laughs> and with that we unlocked the achievement paying the bills and freaking and that's it. We shall we shall continue the Void Arc Saga a little later on, but we do have a couple uh, special episodes we need to get to, as well as Thordon Extreme, which I promised Taliana I'd do with her because God knows, freaking people can't leave me alone for shit. Uh, but anyways, I am gonna take a break from this to let. Aria do her thing. Plus, I've got to upload these episodes, so Lord knows that's going to be a work and a half. But anyways, I'll see you next time where we will continue on various shit. 
Anyways, Cruise the Gex out.